All right, back to Tabor. Gives us to uh, Cyril. I thought we'd see some Jote, but I guess maybe she's just back at the hideaway or something still. Oh, I believe that's where Joshua well sent her. My lord. I collected your colleagues' preliminary findings. Here, take them. Oh, Kretov report. A scroll containing the preliminary findings of the Undying's ill star adventure into the ruins of Kretov. Sealed with the wax imprint of a phoenix feather. Okay. My thanks. I shall study them and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kretov. Losses which could have been avoided had the others not chosen to complete their work instead of saving their friends. That's wild. <laughs> Are these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Evil That's crazy. Is avoidable. My lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. The undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations. And your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live. It's just so weird. Like, if you could have lived and then continued to do your work, why not do that, you know? Our very order exists for that purpose. And that it just purpose doesn't make alone. it doesn't make sense, because then you could be even more useful Zero. to the people you're trying to be useful to. I know so that wouldn't that, like, not, you know, you living in turn be better for it who you're trying to serve, regardless? Phoenix, to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Exactly. Provide your survey parties with an escort. That they might live to do their duty for years to come. Exactly. Thank you, Clyde. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please. For all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my lord. He's really like, bro, just fuck if off. <laughs> you me to respond. Our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield is absolute and we of the undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him yeah 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 shut up as first obviously they're not going to change i'm sure you understand what it means to do one's duty i do but again it just doesn't make sense then like you could be more helpful mind. alive than dead especially if it was completely avoidable our duty. it wasn't like you're in a time crunch or something you could have done it after dealing with Fool's Gold and all the rest of the Echoes. It's just dumb. Makes no sense. The Breath of Ice, Ice Age, Residual Ice Aether, re uh, reduces Ice Age cooldown by 1.5. Well, we don't have Ice Age. We have um, Diamond Dust was the name of it. Alright, so it ended up being useless. It was just seeing, It was just showing that... The Undying are so committed that they'll fucking die for their cause, even though no one asked for that and it is completely fucking useless. Um, I was gonna look at something. I completely forgot what I was gonna look at here. It was something on the menus, but I, I just completely... Oh! Um, I wanted to see the key items. So, like, one of the things we got was, like, you know, uh, insignia or something. See, the Phoenix down. The seal marks his bearer, trusted ally of the Undying. So, like, the Phoenix Down just isn't a fucking, like, item for once in Final Fantasy. It's literally just a little insignia, which is kind of crazy. That's what I was thinking about the whole time I was, like, talking to him. I was like, wow, like, it's literally just, you know, it's not even an item for maybe the first time ever in a Final Fantasy game. Because it doesn't fit within, like, you know, giving you a revive or something. Even though I think they should have done it, um... By, at the very least, like the last elixir, they should have made that like Thank a phoenix you. down. You know what I'm saying? Farewell, traveler. Instead of making it the last elixir. <laughs> Alright, so here's the Dravads, guys. August. Clive, you're here. And the Akashic. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts, and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Damn. Old old snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back, Sid. Ah, so he knows who we are now. I okay. never have guessed, you know. 
Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Drabozd would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Because he's not really an outlaw. He's again. just a good guy trying to help. Yeah. That's he's always been. Oh, you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn's here. Not making my armor and swords, Let's asshole. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old coaches, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did. Yeah, but that ain't the whole of it. Alright, I don't care what the whole of it is. Let's get Vulcan, these done. Our master. Vulcan, of course. To the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Travosht. Barring himself, of course. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. That's true. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. <laughs> Your Got his ass. Was needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. That's true, because he wouldn't have, like, kept the village afloat I by bartering with prick, people. But I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no That's what I'm saying, like... He, he, he did what was best because he was going to lead them down a road that was going to see them all die, essentially, by starving and being in turmoil because he wanted quality over quantity that he can just sell off really quickly. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. See, here we go, biting it off. All right, let's go ahead and just do this. You, uh... Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. We can't afford to waste any more time. Right, you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't oh my God! Surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackthorn, you and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the. Akashic on the move. Ah, oh, here we go. How close are they? Within sight of the walls, and there are more coming up from the mines. <sighs> what was I saying about nasties? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. I'm wondering if, uh... So, like, you see that they still have scars from their brands? I'm wondering if that's where the milk of the wyvern is. That would, like, kill you if you touched it or fucked it up, right? Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. Or if it's just, like, a residual scar from the operation in general. No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic Beast can do to armor. All right. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate, but it won't come to that. <laughs> You'd better be right. Said, and if they kill you, it's like, well, fuck me then. Back. Thanks for the faith. <laughs> and give those things what for, yeah? Alright, so we're probably going to be taking off, or taking on waves of Akashic here. Should be simple enough. Oh, an Akashic Bighorn. And some hounds. Alright. All right. Can do this. Which one of you is first? Oh, you know who's first. I love that move, dude. It's so good. What the fuck? And he's already staggered. Let's go. Hit him in the fucking mouth. Oh, yeah. He's basically dead. Let's go. Look at that. He ain't shit. New enemies? I don't care. Little waves of them. Ain't nothing. Oh, man. I... I just hit him with like the last fucking little itch of ability. Nice, we countered. Oh, we countered the one like behind us though. <laughs> what the fuck? It didn't actually do like the guy on our side or anything. Punish? We haven't been punishing. We should be punishing more. Orgle's dealing with that scorpion. That's good. 
some Cyclone here. Punish. And then hopefully we can put a couple behind us. Ah, oh, just messed up, but it's fine. We got him. Another wave. An Akashic Griffin. Oh, shit. Get him. Aw, oh, man. He got away. And Diamond Dust. We'll go ahead and hit him with the Tornado so he can get staggered. Then we'll do the fire stuff. He should be staggered for sure here. Okay, it, it waited for his like animation to stop in order to stagger him. That was weird. And now let's go ahead with the Giga Flare inside his beak directly. Like a fucking baby bird. And he's fucked. <laughs> there we go. Nice. No, we're going crazy on the damage department right now. Is that it? Whoa, it's one bigger beast. Apparently not. What is this? A chimera? I think so. Yup, canyon chimera. And we just used all our big, big abilities because I thought that was going to be the big beast. But man, was I fucking wrong. Alright, let's do it. Damn, he's fucking- look how fucking swole this thing is, bro! This thing is so swole! He's made of nothing but muscle! He's going fucking ballistic! He's got- he's got- looks like he has at least two elements, thunder and fire. Crazy, huh? Only if he hit diamond dust back in Giga Flare, but I don't think so. Not close- or not soon, anyway. Alright, here we go. He's very close to stagger. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. And we just got both the big abilities up, which is huge. And we'll hit a limit break after the Giga Player here. Right in his fucking head. Oh, it's not even doing that much damage. I mean, it's doing good damage, don't get me wrong, but it's not doing as much as it did to that damn Bighorn or the fucking uh, Griffin. That's for damn sure. Go, oh, let's do this. I love being able to keep up just with autos on, um, what do you call it? On limit break here. Let's go. We're going fucking nuts. Nice try. Get him. You dick. Yeah! Oh shit. Come with the uppers. Almost staggered again, and we've almost got Diamond Dust and Giga Flare back up too. Nice, here we go. Giga Flare is already up. Diamond Dust is next. Look at that damage, man. Let's go. Diamond Dust should end it. Boom! Damn, so close. Alright, we got it. Nice! And that's all the Akashic. And that should be enough experience to level up, too. Level up! Yep. Nothing crazy on the, the spoils there. He's so slow. Oh, the question is... Did I miss any? <laughs> I hope not. Those are pretty tough for a Kashyyyk yeah, beast, huh? You stood in one piece. I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. <laughs> well, almost. All right, we didn't miss any. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall, but we got the bastards. Don't you worry. Nice. Good. How you do know? More will come in time. Yeah, and those are pretty in tough. Time, like yeah. those aren't average we beasts. Can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. We got it. Easy W. I'm sure Zoltan will be like, Oh, thank you so much, Sid. Uh. Sid? <laughs> You're even more fearsome than your reputation. Yes, sir. Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. 
I almost felt sorry for the wretched thing. <laughs> but mostly, I felt grateful. Dravards won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no uh -oh. getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. Yep. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well... You could all turn to a Kashyyyk. But the village's days are numbered. And it could happen overnight. Be, but we're staying just the same. With the flood springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our. So I guess the farther you are away from these mines, the better you're actually off. Because then that means you won't get aether flooded, at least. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you, so... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> that's his Tell way of saying you sorry, should. I guess. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always... envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but... You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. That's true. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier, it was true. Also true. He'd have been the death of He this speaks place. the true true. Finally, something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. Makes sense, though. I mean, if that's what you have to do to survive, right? I feel like you should have a specialization at that point. Like, maybe your basic guys, your average Joe Schmo, they churn out the profitable stuff. And then you have, like, the leaders or the big guys who are able to do it, make the better craft that also helps bring in money for you, but that you can also be proud of. You know what I'm saying? Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind <laughs> offer. That's actually, yeah, that's actually really nice of him. Like, let bygones be complete accept, bygones. But I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel. And I dare let them down. Aww. He loves us. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's that's true. We can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn, the master smith turned outlaw back in my good graces. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Well, all's well that ends well, right? I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? And at least that wasn't like a boring side quest. We were battling some pretty tough monsters. And we got to try out Diamond Dust a lot more. Sid, I've got something for you. Ooh, something for our memory wall, perhaps? Seal of Tain, you've accepted the cracked anvil from Zoltan. This is a token of a lasting gratitude, but I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Oh! Zoltan, there's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. Oh shit. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel. And I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. The <laughs> engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. <laughs> and they're not just for show. That's yeah. funny. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? That's true, yeah. I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Ah. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> They're saying together they can make that sword. You know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? Ah. He's more than welcome, as long as he can keep our secret. Right. That's true, Zoltan. yeah, just don't go fucking your blabbering forge. your mouth to everybody that we're there. 
All right, so the last part is going to be uh, going back with them over to the hideaway so they can make that sword. All right, that's cool. So for now, we'll go ahead and we'll go over here. We'll go here. We'll go to this. And if we can, we'll go here. And if not, we'll just like go from the Dallow Mill in. So let's go ahead and get to this quest now. Like I said, guys, there is a lot of side quests here today. Come on. So getting through them is going to take a long time. We've already been playing for 50 minutes. <laughs> 50 fucking minutes we've already been playing. So it is going to take a fat minute to actually get through all of this. What is that? You see that? The sand was just dripping from the, from the fucking cliff, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, and these aren't even, like, these ones in Dalmechia aren't even all the ones. Now we gotta go back to the airship to finish the Zoltan one. Along with that, we also have to, um... Oh, man, it's that way, isn't it? Oh, there's a chest here, though, we can talk or look at. That's cool. I'll take that. Thanks, girl. Alright, we'll come in from the other side from Dalamil, then. A regal sash. Oh. Alright, fuck. We finally got, like, a, a good item, it looks like, from these, uh, things. It was a uh, sash here. Yep. A little less health, but a little bit more protection. I'll take it. It's just one less health. Why not? And you get a new... Uh, well, you, you don't get a different look. Forgot. But you get... Uh, what's it called? A new piece of armor. So not bad. Okay, we're going from the Dalamo in then. And then once we do that, we'll try to find the other... The one that was up here we were looking for. But it looks like we're going to be doing the... I think these were the bandits first. The so we'll go ahead and do that. And then once we do these two... And then we'll go ahead, we'll go back to Eloise, and we'll, um, what do you call it? We'll go back to Eloise, and, uh, escort her to the, to the people she was gonna go talk to, or the fuck, she doesn't get killed. Alright, onwards. Wild neck. I thought that palm tree was the type of enemy, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I wonder if the cactar is still in this game somewhere, you know? I haven't seen Cactar, and I'm thinking Cactar, he'd probably be somewhere out in Dalmechia, right? So, I wonder if he's still in this game. I've never beat a Cactar. I remember I tried finding him in Final Fantasy XIII, and he does like 9,000, or 999 damage with like a needle, or whatever. So I was like, fuck this, I'm not fighting him. Come on, then, Togo. Alright, here we go, these are the, um, oh shit. I didn't mean to do that, but, that's what it is. Here we go. Just diamond dust these motherfuckers. Oh yeah, that feels good. That feels hot. <laughs> that feels good. Kill this guy. Hound out of the way. More enemies. Surprise, surprise. Got no one. Oh, they have a healer. Let's get him out of the fucking way. You dick. Quit running! <laughs> get his ass! You ain't slick. Got him. Punish him. He'll be dead. Yep. Go this way. Uppercut the dog. He's pretty tanky. This piece of shit got me in my fucking Phoenix shift. <laughs> now we punish him. That's what you get for interrupting me, you dick. This guy's full health. We're gonna have to cyclone his ass after a punish, of course. And that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. Maybe going back and talking to Lubo, or is there like another bandit cap we gotta Little take care of? Sid, where are... Yeah, he came to me, so probably another bandit cap. Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. Oh no, they maybe they attacked Dalamil with the rest Dalamil. of the forces we didn't attack. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. Oh was... shit. Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalamil. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic. Oh he shit. Crystal. That's not possible. It is if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, for real. 
All those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who has made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a Is it really slave. that big of a fucking deal? Like, he literally saved some kids. Like, bro, what the fuck? Here. But I know one thing. Lubo needs all the friends he can And I guess that makes now. sense why such a cocky asshole like him would be very good friends with Sid, right? Because he's all about, you know, liberating bears. Bears aren't bad. They deserve to live equal. And Lubor's out here doing just that. Which is good for him. But, you know, people don't see it that way. And now everyone knows. So it's <laughs> true, for sure. Habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. Yeah. Well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters AKA, to me fuck you, little kids. You got me caught. <laughs> you <laughs> bastards. Better's like it's nothing. All lies are wager. Just like the ones he fed us all these years. Oh, shut up, bro. It's not that big a deal. Their minds, it's hard to change them. We it's literally like he saved some kids. Convinced He's an animal. He saved kids with magic. Ah. Crystal or not, bro, Convinced does it matter? Nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a Dalmec born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lupo really is. They know ah, okay. that Lupo Underhill. and I are friends. <laughs> I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however. Yes, sir, Lord Underhill. Trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. The Lord Underhill Ruse. Stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but... We'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Alright. Onwards. To convincing two idiots that he's okay. And he's still the same guy he was ten seconds ago. <laughs> he knew all along that he... Forgive me for disturbing you, but... Could I have a moment of your time? Absolutely not. I saw you talking to that she thing outside. <laughs> oh my I, god. Lord Underhill? Wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants? Uh, that's right. He's literally just the same I as everybody else. And that's what they're trying to tell the you. Like, you know, no matter bearer. what your little secret is, you're still you as much of a person friend? as everybody else. You'll never be man now. No matter if, you know, if, I have anything to do with it. if you're what whatever, whatever, or whatever, you're Bear just human. No, steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. Even if you're seen as a slave by society, you're still a person. Leniency. He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the way. Oh my god, what do they think bearers I'm do? Sorry, like, ah, I got away with it again for another day. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. Yes. <laughs> that is a question for the people of Dalamil, and they will thank you not to get involved. Hey, you dick. So, no success. It's just so societally normal that hating bears is the, the move that you just can't change that right now. Conrad and Natalie refuse to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. Alright. Yeah, Lubor's getting fucked. No mayor for him. All because he wanted some save some kids. How could he? How dare he? Victor take the bearer's I assume the situation is hopeless? There's still hope. But... Cutscene? Ah, oh, no, it's just more of the in-game. Perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. They'll come around. I wonder if he's just gonna come with it's us to the hideaway then, to since they don't the want him there. See. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo... Rosina would often tell me that steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. That's true. 
to yourself be true? That was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. Really? But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right no matter what others might think of me. It's true. You always got to do that shit, man. And now... Even if it's not the societal norm. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite. All against. right, Lelouch, calm the fuck down. To stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Nubo. You're the only one who was ever kind. Well, you two us. ruined it. So good I'm job. <laughs> again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. Yeah, if they, they're seen Possibly communicating with him, the they'll best. be ostracized, too. The children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. I mean, Lubor's right. It's oh, too cemented. Say. It's too cemented. So just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children People to the wolves? People do not change their mind often. Open-minded people are often seen this. as, like, flip-floppers, but, flip -floppers, but well. you know... If you're able to, like, see other people's point of views, it's one of the best things you could actually, you know, do for yourself. To accept, like, other people around the world for their ideas, their ideologies. Of those available to me? Their gifts, their talents, the best you know? Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Like I said, he should probably just come to the hideaway. I mean, he'd be really useful there as another forger, right? I don't see how more people in the forge would be bad. Turning out double the armor. Unless, like, the space is a thing. You know, like, there's not enough room. But, you know, you could always, like, make a, sec a second little uh, blacksmithy what or whatever. And then make it so that you're doub uh, doubling up and Blackthorn isn't as taxed. But maybe Blackthorn likes a challenge, so I don't know. 